I'm Stefan. I am the owner and uh, head brewer of Bleeding Heart Brewery. When I was about 1920, I uh, started hanging out with my buddy Zach Lanfear, who's now my business partner. He uh, taught me how to homebrew. So we just we started homebrewing a lot. Uh, eventually, people started liking our beers, and so they actually started requesting stuff. Um, to the point where a lot of our friends were having us make batches for them. Um, so much so that his that Zach's wife Amber uh, encouraged us to look into opening a brewery. So we decided to make an ultimatum. Uh, we were going to do a Kickstarter campaign, and if it succeeded, we would continue. And so that's what happened. Yeah. So I mean, for the for the Beat IPA specifically, uh, we wanted to have an ingredient that made a red beer um, without having it be overly malty like reds usually are. Uh, and Zach had the idea of using beets and uh, so I had to experiment and figure out how to put beets in a beer that wasn't god awful. <laughs> I always obviously try to uh, source all of my ingredients as locally you know, as possible. Um, because I mean, we're sustained by the community, we want to sustain the community as well. Coming here first thing in the morning, I'll uh, get the water heating up. Usually from there I'll start staging various ingredients. Then I'll measure out and uh, crush grain. Then from there we mash in after the water is heated appropriately. After the mash, we pump all of the sugary water off of the grain bed and into the boil kettle where we boil what, what is now called the wort with uh, hops. Uh, and that's pretty much the end of the day. After that, I just have to cool it down, pitch the yeast, and let it sit for two weeks. Then phase two is pumping the fermented beer then into the bright tank, um, at which point for this beer in particular, uh, we add about mm, 11, 12 ounces of beet juice, and then obviously a dry hop. And then we let it sit and carbonate for two days. Then I keg it, throw it on tap, and it's ready to drink. <clears throat> So, as far as the future goes, I mean, expansion is really the best way to answer that. We're definitely outgrowing our space here. The demand is, is much higher than we ever expected. So, you know, we don't know if it's going to be on this property or not, but we're definitely looking to increase our, our production by at least 10 times. I think our customer base is really what keeps me going. We have such an awesome community of people here in Palmer specifically that uh, have rallied around us and, and have gotten us to where we are right now. And uh, because of them, I love coming back in, even after a totally shitty day, uh, to make more beer. Because uh, I'm excited to let them try it and, and see what they think and you know interact with them. Yeah, I, I feel like our, our brewery is, you know, it is a brewery, we obviously make beer, but it's, to me, it's more of a, a, like a hangout spot. You know, it's where people get to meet each other and learn new things and connect and just have a good time.